Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows XP onto a virtual box. Uh, it's been requested by one of my members so I'm going to show them how to do it. It's pretty simple really. Uh, I've already done one with uh, uh, Vista and Windows 7 so might as well do the Windows XP. So all you need to do is uh, open up your virtual box. Now you can get this off the internet. It's, uh, if you type uh, VirtualBox in Google, you'll see it's virtualbox.org. That's where you need to go to. I will put a link up. Go new, next. Type in here, say Windows XP, something like that. That's what I'm putting in there. Okay, make sure you've got XP selected here. Go next. I'm going to put about 500 ish of memory. And then go next. Create a new hard disk. Next. Then next, dynamically expanding storage next. Leave that as it is, 10 gigs fine for me. That's all I need. Next and finish. Finish again. Okay. Then you put your CD in the CD drawer now, your Windows XP CD at this stage. And uh, go to your CD drive, mount your CD drive to whatever letter you are going to be putting your CD in. Mine's in D, so I'm going to leave it that click OK and click start and this should start the installation process of Windows into VirtualBox so we'll let that do its thing it's pretty simple really, it shouldn't take too long Windows XP So let this load up. What I'm going to do is let this load up. I'm going to pause it in stages so you don't have to keep um, watching all the installation, the whole installation. So I'll quickly pause this here. Okay, so we're on starting Windows setup now. So once we get to this stage, what we're going to be doing here is just clicking on Enter to. And we need to push F8 at this stage to agree to the license agreement okay so we've got that there we can actually push enter if you was obviously doing it else you could just if you was doing it on a, a different machine you'd create and do your partitions but that's good enough for me so we're going to leave that as a NTFS quick do a quick format Once that's uh, it's very quick. Okay, it's now going to copy all the files across that it needs. That's fifty percent uh, covered across. Okay, so we're nearly installed there now, that's 98%. So, that's done. It's going to restart. Don't touch the keyboard at this stage. Okay. And this will just continue with the installation process. It shouldn't take too long now. It's not really 39 minutes, it always puts up that sort of a figure but it's just a random number it shouldn't take that long okay, it's installing drivers now as you can see uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too long after this 
sorry devices sorry not drivers readings getting worse okay so at this stage we need to uh, I don't know what you're gonna do to your one but what I'm gonna be putting mine as uh, UK Pride of England there we go and then uh, languages just gonna okay, add one of them one English click OK get rid of the US I can't get rid of the US for some reason there you go okay so just put English there as well and then go next I'm just going to call this uh, Britech do go next and this is the stage where you need to put your key code in now I should pause at this stage okay so I put a key in now and this is the next screen you get and basically you can put your own administration password in here if you want to um, I'm not too worried about that because it's only a virtual box but we'll put that into England go next it's going to install a network it's pretty much not far to go now Okay, so I'm just going to go typical here. Go next again. It's got a few more files across. Okay, so it's just uh, installing the start menu items right, it's just re registering the components now it's pretty much a done deal soon there's not much else left okay, it's just got to save up the settings and that's pretty much it removing temporary files and I think that's pretty much all done we'll just reboot now don't touch the keyboard at this stage you you could have took the uh, CD out if you wanted to. Just let Windows boot up. Okay, on that. All just got to do now really is prepare the desktop, and that's about it, really. And we're pretty much good to go. Here you go. Just quickly go like this. Skip that bit. Next, put your name in. And that's how you uh, install Windows XP on a Sun virtual box. Okay, my name is Brian from brighttech.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, show your support and vote for my channel and uh, subscribe. Um, I should say vote for my videos, really, not vote for my channel. And uh, I'll be making some more tutorials in the future. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.